Welcome. Uh, so this is Loom Lab here at the Loom Preservation Committee. My name is James, and this is the senior biologist here. John Cooley, and uh, James is our Winnipesaukee biologist. And the egg we're uh, going to show you now was collected at our first um, webcam site that uh, one egg hatched from in um, mid-June, and this second egg did not hatch. So uh, we're just going to show you the process that we go through for uh, prepping the egg for um, sending out to a, a lab for analysis. Cool. So, so here's the egg. The first thing we usually do is um, we'll measure it with the calibers. Uh, we'll take some length measurements and some width. Uh, so first here we'll do the length, which is 97.2 mm. millimeters. And then the width is at the widest part. Okay. Yeah. So then we'll do the width right here. Um, and it looks like that is going to be 56.6 56, millimeters. 56.6, and then we can get a, a mass on it. Yep, and so we'll just tear this here so we don't measure the weight of the box also. Put it on the scale. Looks like it's 170.5. Grams, good. Um, and that's a pretty pretty good size for a New Hampshire loon egg where the, the average egg might be 150 grams. This is, this is a good one. Cool. Um, so now we'll do the volume of it, which we'll use the wire displacement. Um, so we filled this up to the brim basically, and when we put the egg in, the excess water will leak out, and there, by doing that we'll get the volume basically that is in it. It's a sinker, huh? Yeah. <laughs> If we just slip it down, solid one. And we'll give it the requisite three taps once it's yeah. almost. Uh, yeah, yeah. And again, this stuff basically just helps us with the baseline measurements. So this one would be 160. Uh, so we'll go in here. Magic touch. Yeah. <laughs> um. Um. One sixty. Maybe? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna that's a uh, hundred and sixty four grams of water, milliliters of water, um, as the volume by displacement. Cool. And so, put this out, grab the egg. I'm gonna close that out. And the, <coughs> um, the egg. Uh, opening the egg is something we want to do in this case because we're we had the camera on the nest so we know what was happening at the nest and we want to see with this egg whether it was uh, inviolable from the start or um, whether how far through the development the embryo might have gotten um, and we want to do it in a clean enough way that we don't cross-contaminate the egg contents uh, as, they're, as they're tested for things like mercury. So we've got it on this sheet of tinfoil, we're going to put it in a, a clean iChem jar, um, and we're going to just wipe that scalpel blade with a uh, chem wipe. Great. And then sometimes these eggs <coughs> have a little bit of back pressure in them. <laughs> uh, you want to do the honors? <laughs> so, yeah, again, we were talking about cutting it around this end, and maybe we can uh, tip it like that. Okay, we can see. Yeah. Point it right at Caroline. <laughs> be able to do it like an initial jab into the shell just to get the thing started but there you go yeah 
hands like a surgeon. <laughs> Before you get all the way through, let me just get this uh, jar lid and okay. set it in there as our little makeshift okay, yeah. petri dish. Cool. <laughs> and you can tip it now upright so that it doesn't uh, the other oh. way. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Um, Someone made a match. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Just hold it there, James. I'm going to pour this oh, yeah. part off into the jar. Mm. Great. <laughs> so far, so good. and set it on the tin foil. And then, Caroline, you may be able to tip the camera, or I can, you know, we can tip the, the uh, <coughs> shell. So there's, you know, there's a little bit of, I'm gonna pour off um, some of the just liquid. And then what we're, what we're interested in is the that mass there and whether I can snap some photos of this, but whether there's any real development of this. <coughs> Alright. This looks a lot like the other egg, huh? Yeah, it's a lot more clear though. Yeah, so. yeah. Well, it didn't sit as long, like, uh, after uh, it should have had. <laughs> <laughs> you know. This is our vet intern, Nia. Say hi to the camera. I don't see anything in this one that, even like that, um, that other, like, um, Long articulated, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, spinal cord or umbilical. Yeah, this looks a little more yolky. Yeah, yolky. this is just yolky. Yeah. yeah. Let's just take a picture with the iPhone of that. <coughs> hmm? So, on our, you know, on our scale, I would say this is. Um, a translucent jelly-like mass surrounding surrounding the yolk sac, with no so sign zero. of development. Yeah, so that's about a zero. And this is typical of what we would see in most of the in viable eggs that we collect. That they they were probably uh, does from the start. It just did not uh, get very far. All right. So let's get that. I'm going to write down that raw weight on here and then we <coughs> uh, for now. Okay. Not, and you don't have to read it out. Yes. Um, okay. The, um, the other thing we were going to mention is that we will be posting some pictures and possibly a short clip of the um, processing and an examination of the inviable egg that was collected from our second nest site this summer the webcam nest that just was abandoned uh, yesterday, uh, Wednesday, July 26th. Um, and that was a nest that had two eggs, neither egg hatched, um, and, and they sat on the, the nest and on the eggs for well past when, when the expected hatch date was. So that over-incubated egg um, we also opened up and looked at, and um, we'll be uh, putting some pictures and maybe a little bit of video of that. Uh, out to our website and and uh, possibly the YouTube channel. 
but thanks for tuning in. Cool. Um, yeah, so thank you guys again. Uh, we had fun here at Loom Lab. Um, this is basically a good view of our day-to-day -day operations here. And we'd like to thank the camera woman, Caroline, for um, doing great work and everyone here at the Loom Preservation Committee. And I hope you, hope you guys tune in to next year's Loom Camp for sure.